Alright, easy clue. What do we get? Oh shit, a master clue. Damn. I might try to do that. What's good in the third master clue, I wonder? Ooh, Arceus Hood. Ooh, Ancient Blessing. That's a, that's a best in slot for me. Alright, cool. This is our first pretty good no prep here. Well, we have Vanguard's Fossil and Fispia, so I was able to get enough supplies off of them all. And we've already done some test runs with not so ideal supplies, so this is definitely uh, adequate for sure. Oh wow, that defense level just messed up my, my rotation. Actually, no, the melee hand's pretty good. Oh my goodness. 97 mage almost cucked me there. That was close. Well, we did it, but damn, the herbs were worth though. Whoa, a thieving level. Holy crap, man. Dang, I'm gonna get teleported. Wait, maybe? Oh, I killed it. Nice. Hell yeah, Rune Crossbow came in clutch there. Holy shit, boys. Just got 99 strength. Okay. Awesome, dude. Now, what I'm interested in seeing is a, uh, a 40 max hit on the whip. So yeah, I should be able to hit a 40 now with the whip. At home. Alright, what was that? Our uh, third 99? Yeah, it's our third 99. Just give me that hit. Yay. Got it. That was a good tecton. Oh my god, it happened, boys! F***ing <laughs> Christ, it happened, dude. Jesus. This is why I've been doing every single raid with a tecton. <laughs> nice. That's actually nuts. Yo, how many tectons have I done? Okay, so I've done... 64 raids so that means i've done 63 raids with tectons in it okay well hey that's that's like our next big upgrade bro the regen brace hell yeah man that's sick i, I gotta keep doing more though because if i can get another onyx i can make a fury so but yeah we'll, we'll try to make sure we do every raid with tecton in it for sure now comes the ultimate question which item shall i make with the first onyx that i got and the answer is, I will be making a regen bracelet. You might be saying, what are you talking about? Make a fury, obviously. No, no, no. In Twisted League, things are very different. The regen bracelet is actually one of the most overpowered piece of equipment in the game. And I will explain why once I can get the level to make it, and then I showcase just how overpowered this thing is. 60 smithing nice gotta smelt some more gold bars for the 84 crafting man oh it's flame phase though Oof. woohoo baby good thing i noticed it was the flame phase oh there it is the 40 yes i knew it i knew we could hit the 40 bro oh hell yeah dark relic um yeah we're definitely gonna put this in herb because i'm thinking about getting 90 herb for uh, challenge world rates in the future. Oh, nice, nice, nice. 84 cooking. Oh man, I've been working on this uh, for like this whole week. I've been just fishing uh, overnight uh, while editing videos and stuff. But yeah, man, I really need this level. Bar fishing couldn't give me much cooking, but yeah. So I had to do it the old fashioned way. 84 cooking means angler fish. Those are so good. I'm gonna definitely wanna take advantage of these. There's a J-Mod event going on, there's one party hats in Twisted League, which means limited time party hats, actual limited time party hats. Uh, yeah, I need a hat. Oh, fuck! Yo, what the hell? Why is- Oh, no. Give me, give me, I need a, I need a cracker. Come on! Why can't I totally grab? It's impossible to get. Oh, oh my god, let's go. We gotta get it, we gotta get it. One of the party hats gotta be mine, right? Are you kidding me? I can't grab a single one. It's, it's, oh, I got one. Yes, I got the purple. Let's go. Yes. Oh, yo, it's spawning again. It's spawning again. Oh, it's spawning again. Fuck, I can't see anything, dude. Yes. Nice, I got all the colors. Let's freaking go. Actually, maybe not. Maybe I don't have all the colors. All right, now that I'm done with uh, Brutal Black Dragons, I think I'm going to try and train a bit of Slayer through... Red dragons? Holy shit, dude. I didn't know you could fight this guy. That's lit. Alright, we gotta repair this altar, so... 
So the red dragons, there's a room next to it that has a NPC to tan the hides and also an altar to use the dragon bones. And I just unlocked the altar. You gotta sacrifice a hundred baby or regular dragon bones. And yeah, I got unlocked now, so I can actually do this red dragon task and use all the drops that I get from it. Nice, finish a red dragon task. So that was like about a hundred red dragons. And on the left side, you can see the XP rate. It's pretty good. Yeah, the XP is not bad. 300k per XP an hour. 50k crafting, about 90k slayer. So. Oh, I got a key. Nice. Hey, now I can get here a little bit faster because there's like a front door over there. Reach this limit. Oh, whoa, we got a purple. All right, this is raid number 71. Oh, dragon claws. Let's go. That's sick. That's actually sick, dude. We got dragon claws, bro. I'm bringing that to my raids, dude. I I'm, I'm excited to use that. That's, that's hella fun to use. Dragon claws. Ooh, 40. Nice. I'm definitely gonna like this, bro. Dragon Claw just dunked it for 20% damage. Alright, Claws go. 52. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, time to use the Claws. Woohoo! Yes, that's nice. That way, I can guarantee pretty much uh, I will never reset the melee hand if I can kill it on the first hit, which D Claws will definitely provide me that insurance policy, so. Oh shit, 98 magic. That's crazy. One more to go, dude. Uh, you know what, Claws? I think Claws shall do the job. Yes! Finally, a surefire way to kill the melee guy on time. Yeah, D-Claws is perfect for uh, Vanguards as well. Was hoping I get 6 brews out of this Vanguard, but only got 3. Gonna still try to no-prep this. With 4 brews. Ooh. Oh, what?! Ninety five attack. Oh yeah. So I recently hit one twenty combat. Uh, I think after I got seventy uh, prayer. So I don't think I actually need to do red dragons all the way eighty four because I forgot if I do like blood veils later, I'll get a lot of insult heads from them. So I'll probably just do red dragons for for the day. All right. So uh, we're moving on to some dust doubles. As you can see, the XP rate's disgusting. Uh, yeah, man. I'm probably gonna switch between dust doubles, uh, blood veils. Maybe some Abyssal Demons. Well, Dust Devils and Abyssal Demons have some really cool RNG drops that I could get lucky on, whereas Blood Veils are just like consistent prayer and, you know, Slayer XP. So in my bank, I have 8,000 Silver Ores. It's gonna keep growing because Rage just gives them so much. But each 1,000 Silver Ore is about 250,000 crafting speed. That's just with the regular base 5x experience. So at a minimum, in Twisted League, it's 250,000 per hour. So I have about 2 million crafting experience in Silver War. Crazy. So tiara making is actually super AFK, because I forgot that you can actually just convert the ore into bars, and then just stay at the furnace, and then just make the tiaras as well. Alright guys, this is going to be such a unique experience, because I have never made a regen bracelet and actually felt really excited for it no freaking joke i've never really used a regen bracelet a whole lot in the main game other than for like winter todd so yeah there it is 84 crafting now i can craft the onyx bracelet boys that's freaking insane oh my goodness oh baby i got the enchant as well oh yes 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 oh my goodness guys we have it now, the regen bracelet. This regen bracelet is going to be so overpowered for just about anything PVM related, especially at race. It is going to be absolutely overpowered. So the stats are good. Uh, just one higher basically than the combat bracelet in just about everything. But yeah, man, this is going to be nuts because of the healing factor. So as you know, I have endless endurance, which means I restore my hit points four times faster than normal. And if I put on the regen bracelet, then the regen bracelet actually multiplies because uh, regen is twice the hit point rate heal by itself. So it's actually multiplied four times two. That means I get eight hit points a minute combined uh, with the regen bracelet. Now, there's more. 
if I use rapid heal, which is another uh, of the same effect, 2x HP heal per minute. So if I activate this with Endless Endurance and with Regen Bracelet, that would be 8 times 2, which is 16 hit points a minute. Yeah, I'm not kidding you with you. 16 hit points a minute. That's like me eating a monkfish every minute freaking insane. So yeah, this is going to be a very unique experience. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to test it out everywhere, especially at raids. Oh my goodness, dude, the possibilities of PVMing with this thing is it, gonna be massive, guys. Very excited to use this. All right, so with the regen bracelet, I hope I can actually just go full send to Ohm without doing much prep work because uh, right now a lot of these raids are done with a lot of prepping and those take a lot of time so in the long run I want to be able to of course to get down to like the 30 minute range and stuff so hopefully this setup will help me get there we'll see we'll see so normally when your HP regens on its own you get one HP but I'm showing you right now is regen bracelet with the endless endurance I get 2 HP every time my HP regen meter goes all the way to full. Crazy. I use Rapid Heal a lot when I fight Vanguards in the Twisted League. And now with the regen bracelet on, I get that 16x effect that I'm talking about. Look at how fast my HP regen meter is reaching the full circle. It's so freaking fast. It's twice the speed as what you just saw at Tecton. And I get the 2 HP every time it reaches the circle. It's crazy. Now that monkfish every minute effect is happening. I went into the vanguard room with like two anglers and one cake and I managed to basically finish this without worrying about dying because my HP was always steady. You know, for every little bit of damage I took, I was able to pretty much get it back just with the regen combo. The regen bracelet is going to be massive at home because I have so much time to heal throughout the fight. The fight's like 16 minutes basically, 17 minutes, right? And if I convert that time into potential HP gained, that is about 16 monkfish or about 4 high level brews. That is so much free food that I get off of the regen brace combo. It's nuts. One of my favorite parts with the regen brace is definitely when I'm running the mage hand because I usually don't take damage running the mage hand. And if I'm ever low HP, I can just heal up while I'm killing the mage hand for free. Alright, so this is pretty crazy. I only used uh, three doses <laughs> for this poison phase. Alright guys, just finished the second phase and guess how much food I used? Zero. <laughs> And uh, yeah, third phase, I used uh, zero food. Again, well, I used one dose there. All right, guys, that was crazy. I went to Ohm with five brews and I only used two and a half. God damn, the regen bracelet is freaking insane. Absolutely, absolutely insane. And I don't really know how to take 100% full advantage of it yet, but yeah, I think I have the gist of it down. I think I know how to make use of the regen bracelet at raids. Oh my goodness, it's insane. Now we can probably get some, yeah, insanely fast times for raids. 80 prayer, hell yeah, dude. Oh, we also crossed over 10,000 points. It's pretty cool. But yeah, the servers are really uh, unstable uh, this week, so I'm just going to do some skilling while while the lag is going on. I got some bones to use, got a few. I wonder how many uh, prayer levels I'm going to get off of these. Alright, 84 prayer, so I already met uh, the target prayer level that I wanted. 84 is definitely a nice stopping point for now because I gain an extra prayer point for every prayer potion dose I drink. A second uh, no prep ready with the regen brace. Finished with two brews, really good results, 80 KC.